let me um, step back because this time last week we were talking about, in some ways, the not the dawn of a new era, because you could go back to the Abraham Accords and beyond about creating more economic prosperity, alliances in the region, certainly talk of an alliance with, uh, you know, more relations with Saudi Arabia. Is that now likely, some people think it's dead or on a very long pause. Do you think that's likely to be the case from what you know? I think both the Israelis and the Americans understand that likely part of the reason for this massacre happening when it did was to forestall an agreement between Israel and Saudi Arabia, which we know has been on um, on the radar for quite some time. Because that was the impetus for the attack, I think it only clarifies both the Israeli and the American resolve to ensure that it happens. On what timeline will be fully dependent on you know, this ongoing war? There are so many things that we don't know. We don't know if there's going to be a second front opening in the North. We don't know if there are going to be large scale global terrorist attacks targeting Jews and Israelis around the world. Um, we don't know whether Iran is going to get more actively involved or, or take accountability for what happened. Um, so there's a lot that we still don't know. But knowing the Israeli people as I do, knowing the American people as I do, I know that there will be a commitment to ensure that that normalization continues. What do you make of the response from um, other countries in the Middle East, um, You know, whether it's UAE, those that have a relationship already, a strong relationship with Israel, and those that currently do not? I think that there is no room, as we said at the start, for um, for hedging here. And any nation um, that refuses to condemn Hamas or any nation that talks about sort of the both sidesism here, um, particularly those that put out statements on Saturday before Israel even had a chance to respond to the attacks, um, are, are feeding this narrative, this um, false narrative about Israel that is deeply troubling um, for, for us as Americans um, and, and for, for, um, for Israel as a whole. So any nation that did not overtly call this a terrorist attack perpetrated by Hamas, um, I think is, um, is showing absolutely no moral courage, whether they're in the Middle East or, or elsewhere.